All right, so Bill, first of all, just start by explaining to me how this all got started. How did you end up here at this school? Well, so the, I was here before and I spoke at All Saints and the kids were just wonderful. And I had done some feats of strength here. I had done some horseshoes and things like that. And then they, uh, they sent me a very kind letter asking if I would break a world record at the school. And uh, well, how do you say no to, uh, to 150 kids with signatures on a letter? So it was my honor to be here today and, and send them home happy. Yeah. Just, I don't need, obviously, the list is so long, even you can't remember it, but just remind me of some of the different records that you hold in terms of the license plates and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, so I've been very blessed. I, I've been uh, seven railroad spikes in a minute. Um, that was a Guinness World Record and the 29 license plates. Um, tearing decks of cards. I've, have, I've have held records in the past and then this one today, which I hope will be around for a little while. Um, as a power lifter, I did a number of uh, you know world records in the bench press and squat and deadlift, and I hold some other world records in uh, what they call odd lifts, uh, reverse reverse grip, uh, reverse grip curls, where I did 177 pounds, and Anderson press with 900, or excuse me, Anderson squat with 900 pounds. So, a one-handed deadlift with 411. Those would be a few of them that stand out in my mind. Well, that's great. All right, now talking about this one in particular, um, had you. Um, but had you previously held this record and someone else took it over from you, or is this your first time trying with the double deck? No, this this was uh, the the record was held by me, um, and it, it actually it was it was not in my opinion it was not a very good record uh, that somebody else came of course and, and beat it by a number of seconds, and then somebody had, had told me that uh, they they had overtaken, and I wasn't really happy with the first record to be honest with you. So then we came, kind of like the license place, where I did the 23 and then came back and did the 29. I knew I could do better. Uh, this one, I had a little extra motivation because uh, you know, somebody had, had taken that record. And uh, so we spent a lot of time training for this. And then when the kids wrote the letter, it all, it all came together. Now, in training, had you, you know, without it being official, had you been besting 12.75 in practices? and? And yet, was this like the best you've ever done? Yes, I had been, I was routinely breaking it, uh, it but in training, you know. So I had done, but it's a little inconsistent. Uh, you know, your, your grip matters and if the cards slip in your hands. So those things make a big difference. So I was routinely doing 10, 9, 8 seconds, sometimes 4. One I did two point, uh, two point something, but I had never done 1.5. So the energy from this crowd really, really sunk in deep, and I was very, very thankful for them to, to lift me to a place where I couldn't have gone myself. I had to laugh a bit because it seemed like you struggled more to get the cellophane off the packages <laughs> than you did with ripping the cards. <laughs> and that is always the thing. The, the, I finally, I had, uh, had my, uh, one of the officials, uh, to, uh, um, Kevin, cut the, cut the deck because you sit there and you, you fight with these things and, you know, of course they have to be sealed. But uh, yeah, every time I go through this, I fight with them and I make a running joke that it's harder to get the cellophane off than it is to, to tear the cards. But uh, yeah, that uh, I think people get a big kick out of that and, and it's kind of embarrassing because, you know, then people start asking, well, can you take the, can you take the lid off of the, the jar of pickles? And I could do that too, but <laughs> well, not as fast, but not as fast. Obviously, some of your more traditional weightlifting records are very impressive, but how much does doing these sort of quirky feats of strength help to bring attention to your overall message, which is what this is really about. It is. It is all about the message. The record, the record is, in, is inconsequential as far as I'm concerned. They, they bring people in and, and people like to see these things and then you, you have an opportunity to talk because it's a real life example of the messages that I, that I bring with me. But, you know, deadlifting 740 pounds uh, or bench pressing 500 pounds, very few people in the world will ever do that. They don't appreciate it. But everybody will pick up a deck of cards and try to flex, and, you know, flex it and roll around with it a little bit to say, hey, you know, can I tear these things? So doing these types of things, I think, first of all, it's a lot easier to walk around with decks of cards than it is 740 pounds. So it's much easier to transport these types of things. But uh, again, I think it's just the odd, it, it's the, there's a little carnival show that goes with it, but uh, but again, the carnival show brings the people in, and uh, you know, and, and if it brings them in, and I can send them home happy, and, and uh, you know, attach some messages to it, then then we're all good. Mm. And it, it's hard not to. I mean, it's easy for people to say, "Oh, I feed off the crowd." Sure, sure, but. <clears throat> hard not to believe that's the case given how amazingly well you did. <laughs>
Well, thank you. Thank you very kindly. Um, I can tell you that the letter that the kids sent me, you know, I wasn't planning on breaking this record this soon. I planned on doing it in the fall. But after the, the letter that the kids sent me, I said, we're doing it now. And so I wanted to send them home for the, for the happy summer, um, knowing that they were greatly appreciated. And it's true. They, they really did. I mean, you know, there's a certain, uh, you know, everything is chemistry in the blood. When these kids, you know, when they, when they get behind you like that, and I came in here and I saw those signs and, and people high-fiving me, and I mean, the chemistry in my blood changed, you know, and it just, it took me to a level that, that honestly, I had not done this before that fast. So they were in large part, you know, I put it this way, I came into the house of the Lord and they made that very clear and we took off with it.